two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Right, hello boys, girls, and all of them, my name is Lucy Michaela, and welcome to yet another fleet analysis. Today's video is going to see a reaver in Cheshire East. Um, we're going to not go as far as Chester, we're going to reach just the areas of Cheshire East. Um, we'll do Chester when we cover Cheshire West and also into North Wales, as I reckon I can squeeze both of those into one video. So we're going to be focusing mainly on Macclesfield, uh, Crewe, Winsford and Northwich, which are the key locations served by Arriva in Cheshire. There are a couple of other locations I'm sure that I'm going to miss, but we'll try our best to do as many as we can, as Arriva North West and Buses Wales have quite a large network area. So, technically we're in Arriva Buses Wales territory, as the management for Arriva Winsford depot transferred to them in January 2020. Uh, so we will call them Arriva Buses Wales throughout this video, so for those who are wondering, that's why I'm saying that. Although technically it is still Northwest, and they do tend to uh, brand themselves as Arriva Northwest, just to avoid the confusion. If you say above Buses Wales, it probably confuses the locals, but they are officially Buses Wales. Here in Macclesfield, things have been changing for Arriva recently, with new Optair Solo standard body ones coming in to replace the rather unpopular Mail Strata minibuses. These Mail Stratas are heading over to Altrincham, where they are now based. You saw a couple of those in my previous video, the Manchester Metrolink, where they've been moved over there. Now, at the moment, there are now three Mail Stratas here in Macclesfield, as 4706 has just returned this past week uh, to cover for another Optair Solo, which is currently out of action while it gets some repair work done. One of the X. Rex and ones that transferred over number 664. Um, but officially, it'll be just 4708 that remains. All the rest are going to transfer out of the fleet over to Altrincham. Uh, we're just waiting on a few of the solos to come back on the road, including a few solo SRs. The local services in Macclesfield will then be run by Optair Solo standard body ones and Optair Solo SRs with 4708 acting as a spares vehicle. We're going to head on the 38, which is currently run by two operators, Arriva and DNG bus, on one of their Pulsar 2s, number 2951. So I'll see you all on board that, and we're going to head over to Crew and start the video properly there. Okay, so that was 2951 or 2951 in the Arriva fleet. That one is one of the two examples that came over from Merseyside in 2016-2017 time. New to Runcorn Depot, a part of a batch of quite a few vehicles, um, It's they are two of 10 Pulsar 2s now operated from the Winsford Depot. Um, recently been joined by a number of standard original Pulsar 1s as well. Um, the Pulsar 1s have been brought in to assist on the 38. Um, taking the solo SRs off the route where they were being used on there to go be used on local services in Macclesfield, here in Crewe and in Northwich and Nantwich as well. Other batches include some ex Sapphire ones. These were new to the Wivenshaw Depot, 2930 to 2934, the ones that remain at Winsford, um, with only one left in the Sapphire livery, 2933, which departed just before. And then two more 14 plate ones also here. Uh, these ones were also new to another depot. These ones, I can't remember the depot they're actually new to, but I'm sure I'll put it in the corner up here and these are the newest full-size buses operated from the depot with the only buses newer than that being the remaining male stratas anyway enough about pulsar 2s we're about to get on the 6 i'll cover the 38 in more detail in a full video when i do a full video on it so we won't be going too much about the route what we will do now is jump on the 6 where i'll describe the route and explain to you the bus we get on because i'm not sure what it is yet i'm not bothered to check So I was originally going to do the shortest track, which would go from here straight to hospital, but I'm actually going to do this one, which goes all around Brook, what is called Brookhouse Estate, back into Crew Bus Station and then down to the hospital, as there's this on it, one of the original pulsars which transferred over from Runcorn Depot uh, recently, uh, one of a handful of examples, including a couple of other uh, VDL vehicles, like a couple of cadets as well, transferred over. This original pulsar is 2671, uh, actually new to uh, Merseyside and transferred over recently. This one carrying the inter-urban livery. Uh, these do sound lovely, I do really like these. We're on the 6, um, as, as I've described, is one that starts the hospital, comes up to the bus station, then goes around the Brookhouse estate, back into the bus station, and then back to Leighton Hospital. We'll head on this one now, around the estate, and then back to the hospital. Okay, 
so slight change of plans. Uh, having done that, I did sort of screw myself over without realising. So now the next 31 to Winsford, uh, where I wanted to go from here, is nearly an hour away. So we're going to go on the 31 back into Crewe instead. Um, so we will be back at Crewe. I'm then going to go find some food and then we'll continue the day by going to Winsford on the 31 or Northwich on the 37, whichever one is quickest. Um, so I shall see you all uh, on the next bus when it turns up. Okay, so we're on 2931, which is from a batch of eight vehicles uh, from 2930 to 2937 that arrived into the Wigginshaw depot in 2009. Now these vehicles were part of the uh, scheme to launch new vehicles onto the 130, initially only being into urban spec. But in 2012, when the Sapphire brand was launched, the 130 became one of the pioneer routes, uh, eventually gaining the branding and Sapphire scheme, with all of these lovely pulsars that were new to the route gaining a brand of interior refurbishment, Sapphire spec up and everyone all. Today, it still has these specifications on them, um, even though the outside has been repainted into the Journey Mark standard livery. Uh, and these still remain in service, with just the five remaining now, which is 2930 to 2934. Uh, some have since transferred to Manchester and or Wales. We're on this one back into crew, and I'll see you there. Well, I had a choice, an Enviro 400, which they do have nice interiors, but Enviro 400 or ALX 400. I know which one I choose. I've been living by this depot now for nearly four years, and I've always just missed ALX 400s. And just when I wasn't looking, this one had pulled in and was stood here, so I thought I'd better go and do it. Because I'm going to Winsford, so both the 37 and the 31 go there, so I had a choice. I've chosen the ALX 400, we're now on the 31, which goes back by the hospital up to uh, Winsford, where we're going to get off. A quick look at the local services there, and then jump on the 37 over to Northwich. Um, so I shall see you all in Winsford, but uh, let's enjoy this lovely journey in this ALX 400. This is one of just three now in service with a this is one of just four now in service with Reva up here in the northwest. Um, they keep bringing them in and out of service, so they keep them around. They're sort of like a floater reserve fleet. They use them to sort of bolster um, school runs and double decker fleets in general. Uh, this one specifically is with Winsford for school runs. Uh, it's only on this route because it just did the school's um, allocation for the day. As the driver was just saying, he's just come off the school's run and has loads of change for because of it. So that's why this one is out on here today. Let's enjoy this lovely journey on a very pleasant uh, ALS 100. These are Volvo B70L ones, um, which means they're not quite the best one. The best one, of course, being the DAF DB250s. And then, to be fair, Trident's are slightly better than these as well, but all ALS 100s are great. And I can't wait for a lovely journey on this one. So I'll see you guys when we reach Winsford. <laughs> Actually, while we're on this one, I should mention a few things. Firstly, this is a massive nostalgia trip for me because I sort of realized once I heard it again that these were also a big part of my childhood because the Route 123, which runs between Ilford and Woodford Green, um, used to get VLAs for years, uh, right up until the point where we moved away from the area in 2012. These were a regular sighting on that route. Um, and bar these headrests, this feels almost identical to that, obviously without the eye bus system, but like the, the stopping bell sound, the little mirror up upper deck checker that they used to do before CCTV was fitted to buses, just all of it, I love it. Um, and the sound is great, but it is worth mentioning that one other thing you get with Arriva Northwest and Buses Wales, which um, is actually slowly becoming not a thing with other divisions, is a sheer range of both liveries, but also interior designs, as they actually operate pretty much one of each for the interiors as well. Um, Arriva had sort of various eras of interiors. Um, usually the panel work was done at a certain year and then maquettes were introduced at different times. So for example, the interior we're in now is the Arriva 2005 interior, which has this sort of panel work. Um, the 2009 interior um, had a slightly different panel work to this, um, but the maquette, this is called the revised blocks maquette. Now when this bus would have come into service, they actually would have still been using the previous maquette before that one. So there was two maquettes before this one, sorry, and they would have been using the original maquette. Um, the name actually slips my mind. Um, 
but this is called a revised box maquette. This was used from about 2013 um, through to 2017, but around this time also, the concept of e-lever seating to fit into buses was also made more common. In 2017, that became the standard, and this maquette is only now used in London for new buses. All other new buses come fitted with e-lever seating and USB charging, as well as free Wi-Fi. Um, so there you go, a little nu uh, nugget of information for you regarding a Reaver there. Okay, I overshot Winsford a little bit, but it's fine, because we're going to do Northwich foot routes first. I'm making my way over here now, hopefully I make this bus in time, I can see it on stand, if it doesn't leave any time soon, um, and we're going to cover the route 1. And then I'll explain about the Route 4 as well when we get on board the one. I don't move, cause I don't wanna be sitting alone. Okay, so I missed the one, but we got on the four anyway. Um, so Northwich recently had a change to services. So in November last year, uh, there was a massive change to all services across Cheshire East. Uh, this saw Macclesfield lose a number of its local services, something I've already covered on this page on this uh, channel before, so it's not too much of something I need to cover, but for a brief overview of that, we lost the 22A, 21, 21A, and we also had a rerouted with 10 and lost the 10A. Um, this was to sort of trim down the services and free up some more vehicles, and a similar place where something also like that happened was here in Northwich, where the circular services were all merged into just two, the one and the four. Um, the two services serve different areas. For full details of the Northwich local services, I'll leave the link to the bus times page for Northwich down below, as I will also do for Winsford when we get there. But for the brief, we're doing the bit of the 4 which goes via Leftwich. Um, so we're going to do this on this lovely Enviro 400. Now this Enviro 400 is very important. This is one of about 8 of these now, I can't remember the exact number, but there's quite a few of them now based at Winsford. These were new to the Chester Depot for the Route 1. Now the Route 1 today sees the very lovely Enviro 400 cities. Um, quite a nice type of bus and one rather unique for a Reaver um, in terms of outside of London. Um, but it's also, these were used to pioneer the Sapphire brand in Wales. And so to do that, what Arriva did was introduce this very fancy, in fact, one of the highest spec seats ever fitted to an ADL vehicle, to the buses. Um, today, they are obviously showing their age a bit with the lever rather fading, which is a rather big of a shame, um, but they are very pleasant seats and they are still fitted to all of the X Route 1 examples. Um, we're on a 4406 here, which has custom plate to J600ABW, um, was interestingly repainted into the new sapphire colour whilst still at the Chester Depot, um, as these were used as spares on the Route 1 before being passed on as some 14 plates were then given the sapphire upgrade. These now base themselves at Winsford and it is looking like they may just remain as is, as Winsford tend not to refurbish their vehicles or repaint them too much either. Let's enjoy our journey on this. Okay, so we 
just had a journey on our X Sapphire Pulsar 2, this time it was 2932, and we are now in Winsford. Now I was hoping to get one of the local routes actually in, and in, as in travelling on it in the video, but unfortunately because of the timing it's not going to work. So I'm going to go and just quickly pop to the shop to get a drink, because I need a drink right now. It does mean we're likely not going to get a Solo SR in this video for travelling on, but I have a decision I'm yet to make on what I'm going to do at the Macclesfield services, as to where I'm going to just cover them briefly, or potentially film them a separate day. Nonetheless, I shall see you all in a moment. I'm going to go and find something to drink. Okay, we're on 4408. This is totally not the fifth time I've recorded this clip because I keep getting the commentary wrong. We're now back on the 31, this time on another of the lovely X Chester Route 1 Sapphire Enviro 400s. We have 4406 before, this is 4408. Now, three of these did come over in 2017. That's 4410, 4420, and 4421, which transferred over when the new Enviro 400 cities came on to the Route 1. However, a number of them did then stay and became spares vehicles for both this that route, but also uh, started getting use on routes like the 11 and so on, 11A. By 2020, a number of these were then at the Wrexham depot, and these came over from there to Eastwood. There was a, quite a handful of them. Uh, initially, I believe there was about 10 of them, uh, and these were used mostly for capacity boosters for routes like the 38, 84, 31 and 37 during COVID social distancing rules. Since then, a number of them have transferred back over to Wales, but there is still quite a few left here at Winsford, and it's not sure whether they'll be staying for a long period of time, or if it's just a short time left for them. Uh, it would be nice to see them stay, as I could certainly see them for whatever. Now, one thing I did want to mention about Arena is their approach to maintenance, which to me appears to be a sort of that-will-do attitude. Um, they always seem to have, like, fleets where the interiors and so on, they don't really keep them consistent, if you get what I mean. It's been a little bit different recently with certain depots. Um, I know that, for example, in the south, uh, in southern counties, Hemel Hempstead Depot has refurbished and repainted their entire fleet now, which is nice to see. But and, uh, similar up here in the north to uh, St. Helens Depot, who are now in charge of refurbs and repaints for the north of England, uh, doing Yorkshire's fleet as well at St. Helens. They've also been getting a nice refurb and repaint and stuff, which is good. But some depots like Winsford just seem to fall behind and it feels really a bit of a shame because like for example I'm sitting on a bus now where the seats are falling apart, there's like sticker marks all along the sides of panels uh, and so on from Covid, uh, social distancing stickering, uh, there's stickering on the top of me, uh, on the roof for the old Sapphire brand in both English and Welsh and it's just a bit inconsistent. Honestly, I'd like to see these fully refurbished in some way. What would be lovely to see is potentially to bring back the Sapphire brand for the 38 using these Enviro 400s with a brand new interior fitted. Have the same seats but reupholster them, um, fit new brand new on the inside and just rebrand on the outside for the 38. As I do think the 38 could do with that sort of branding, it makes people want to use the root more. That's the key with root branding as it does bring people to the roots. This has been proven um, with the introduction of various brands and schemes through brands that Transdev have been introducing at Team Pennine. And it would be nice if Arriva could have a similar approach to maintenance and um, image as Transdev do, uh, or similar operators such as Going Off West, um, or even First Group now, as they are starting to do the same thing. We're back in Macclesfield. The final bit of my trip today is going to be a quick journey on the 10. I'm going to take it just around to the Brock Arms because from there I can walk home um, and I might pop in there and have one drink. Um, so I'm going to pop up there now. Uh, so I'll film going to there and then we'll end off when we get to that point there as that is the whole new section of the 10. For a journey on the original 10, click here. I love to be And as 4706 heads off in that direction there, I'm going to be ending the video off there. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video from me today. We've been covering the Arriva fleet across Cheshire East. It's been a very fun video to film. I've really enjoyed it. Um, the routes I missed deliberately included the 84 um, because I'm going to cover that in a future video uh, as well as all the services towards Chester. So because I'm going to cover this in a separate video. 
Now it's worth mentioning one thing before we go, that Arriva Northwest's Winsford Depot and the Macclesfield Outstation based on it don't actually operate on Sundays except for the 84. The 84 is the only service that operates on Sundays to a very limited 8am till 4pm uh, service uh, for that. Everything else doesn't run, um, this is because Winsford is very much a Monday to Saturday only depot really, uh, so the 84 running is, I think I believe it's actually funded by the council to keep it going and keep that link between Chester and Crewe more active. Uh, this does mean that obviously Mac gets a very limited Sunday service, we only get the 58 at the moment from High Peak, we don't get any Reaver services and we probably never will because I doubt they'll ever fund it. Um, but yeah, Maxford buses are based on the Maxford outstation, which is an outstation for Winsford. Uh, so the buses that are on our routes, they're based here in Mac, uh, just uh, down by Lime Green Retail Park. My next video is actually unconfirmed at the moment, I forgot what it is, so I'll let you know in the, com in the description down below of course. Uh, my next fleet analysis I also haven't decided quite yet, but I'm thinking potentially a Stagecoach Manchester slash DNG bus one. We'll have to see what works best for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I've been Lewis Michaela, this has been Near Even Northwest Fleet Review. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and if you do subscribe, why not turn those notifications on so you know when every video goes live. And if you're looking to potentially support me in some form of cash, I do now have a Patreon. Uh, it's not obligatory at all, it's just a little tip jar if you want to do that. All of those links and everything else are down in the description. Down. Are in. All of those links and all of that stuff is down below in the description. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.